So this is Mafia 3 in the PS4 Pro patch. Um, as of right now, I really... Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I haven't noticed too much of a difference. I think this is like a lighting glitch. I'm like underneath this light. And you can even kind of tell on the, the pipes up there, there's like some kind of weird glitch with it. But as of right now, it's, it's kind of weird. It's not like blowing me away. I think the, the textures are really about... The, there's that lighting thing again. <laughs> Um, but I, I found this, it was kind of cool, these uh, little outfits. I never knew they existed because this is about the end of the game, and I'll show you here in a second. I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything. Uh, but we have different ones. This is the typical outfit that you'll have with uh, Lincoln Clay here, who is our main character. Then we have the full metal jacket. <laughs> I love the cutoff sleeves. I might switch up to the formal. Let's do the business one. <laughs> Let's make them a little more classy. But I'll go through all these. And there was like the waiter. <laughs> I didn't even know the like. I, like I said, they might might have been a patch later on after I had beat the game. But uh, they added these like racing things too. I, I don't remember that in the game. Gotta love that. Kind of like that one too. <laughs> Uh, but basically, for those of you who have not played this game, you, you play as Lincoln Clay, and he basically gets betrayed by the Mafia. And he's on a war path. <laughs> so let's... It's kind of one of the perks I can kind of see through walls and see who's there. Uh, let's go ahead and go outside. I Honestly, I don't even quite remember where I'm at. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That's not it. Oh, at the front. So I'm in the supermarket. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull up the map here. Now, like I said, I'm at the very end of the game, so I, I'm at the choice now where I can... Uh, I have two choices. I won't spoil anything uh, for that, but you basically, you start out and there's, you know, all this different territory. You can give it to different people, and I've gave this to... Uh, Burke here because he already owned a point uh, in this. This was his right here. So I decided to give him the territory around that. Uh, same with uh, can't remember his name now. <laughs> Let me look it up. Vito. <laughs> and then this is Cassandra's over here. Uh, and I gave her two. Uh, you can't actually, I, I the, originally what I was going to do is I was going to divide it up and I was actually going to give Cassandra uh, the Bayou Farm as well. And I did not realize you could not give that away. <laughs> uh, these are actually junction boxes. And once you basically wire them up, you can see little collectibles in the area. And the more we zoom in, the more we can kind of see little things. Uh, so this would be a little communist propaganda. There's also like other collectibles like hot rod magazines. There's the... These are the fuses that I was talking about that you actually need to wire up those circuit junctions. I think you need three. The tugboat bar. <laughs> um, and those, but they'll show up under the collection over here. I'm not going to pull some of these up because I really don't want to get banned from the uh, PlayStation Network. Uh, but you have the uh, Playboy collection, the Vargas paintings, uh, some of the albums. I've noticed if you collect some of the albums, it really doesn't give you any more songs. That's just my what I've noticed. So in here, like I said, I, the textures don't even really look that much sharper in this game. This is actually, out of the games I've done so far, this is probably the worst for the PS4 Pro patch. They are having a sale on the meat over there, though. <laughs> I do apologize. I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and jack a car. So this plays a lot like Grand Theft Auto in a sense that you can car jack cars as they're going down the road. Um, and then I, what I did, uh, you get these little kickbacks as you take over these territories. So as you can see, I've got about six grand there. Let's see what else I've got. I know Vito, yeah, he's got 7,600 with Vito there. And 4,100 with Cassandra. Now, in the bottom right-hand corner, um, I've got three of those little nodes or those um, basically scrap electronics that I can do to uh, plug into these little junction boxes. But my wallet size there, if I ever were to die, that actually goes away. But if I keep it in my safe, 
it actually gets basically stored there and you can actually pay for things it, it, out of your safe. You don't actually have to go and get it. And uh, the cool thing is if I hold this down, down here at the bottom, eventually your, your underbosses grant you free kind of perks. One of them is cons uh, whatever that, <laughs> I'm not going to butcher that name, but uh, basically the concierge service and she'll basically come and pick up all your money for you for free and put it in your safe. So you don't actually have to go back there. She comes right to your location. It's really cool. Uh, this one, I can get a vehicle. In fact, let's go ahead and do that one uh, here in a second. And then, of course, the arms dealer, I can load up on armor, uh, weapon, ammo, and stuff like that. And all, like I said, all these people come right to you. Uh, these are kind of the premium services. You actually need a marker, so you have to do a favor uh, for one of the bosses. And the operator, like, like it says there, cuts the phone line so that people can't call the cops. Buys the cops, and then uh, the hit squad is really, really helpful as well. I used that a couple times on one of the final missions. Uh, so he'll deliver pretty much any kind of car. Uh, I'll kind of go through there. The Armored Majesty is really kind of cool. Then, of course, we get into the really, really nice ones. I thought I un unlocked... Oh, I have to get races in that one. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> I should get that. <laughs> Let's get a nice one. Let's get this fields one. I need some new wheels. Oh, I guess I have to be outside of a vehicle. <laughs> what was that one? I'm Let's do the same. So like I said, the actual visuals, I mean, I, I got to say they're really not blowing me away. The actual, the, the character looks about the same to me. Uh, some of the background out here does kind of look a little nicer. For my car. Four wheels and an engine. You're set. Appreciate it. And since that's in green, like I said, that's that's actually Burke's kind of personal service, I guess, if you will, for for helping him out. Uh, so we're gonna go collect our our money. So I'll just kind of walk around. I'm not sure if the radio is gonna come through. I know it didn't come through in the uh, GTA 5 due to like copyright reasons. But they have some really good music on this. <laughs> I read an article the other day I thought it was really cool. They actually had this AI program that they're going to use for driverless cars. And they've been testing out in GTA 5. And the people are actually like driving like idiots like I am right now. The AI is. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, no. <laughs> I would never take a car that's driving like I am. This car is really, really nice. <laughs> Where's my money? I got my nice suit on. <laughs> and here's where you'll uh, end up getting some. I got my kickback That's right here, so I got my 6,000. And you can and talk to Burke. I'm going to let you know what you're doing by not giving me the last district. But I don't have to lake it. That's for goddamn certain. No, you don't. I gave you three districts. <laughs> Try to be as fair as I could. I was like, where did my car go? I guess somebody valet parked it for me. <laughs> and we'll go, let's go down here. What was this one? Huh. I don't remember that either. That must have been a later patch. I did buy this... Um, they had a sale before this even came out, and they had like it discounted. It was basically the same price as the original game, so I did buy the uh, deluxe edition that came with like the season pass or something, I think. So I'm kind of curious if that was like a later add-on. <laughs> Woo! Please send some officers down here. You know what? If if barely grazing somebody with a car is grounds for calling the police, then sue me. <laughs> Apparently, this isn't America anymore. So, anything in highlight in blue there? Those are cops, uh, either walking the streets and or, or patrolling in the cars, wherever it may be. So you can kind of see the car there, uh, patrolling me there on the map. And then if anything in red, that would be the bad guys. I don't think there's really going to be too many. I know we saw a little bit earlier. There's a couple. 
I'm gonna try to tune this. I don't know how much. It's probably gonna cost more money than I have to fully customize it, but we'll try it. Oh, cool. Well, it says installed. It. I don't think it took any money. Oh, that's stupid. I see. You have to, you have to do the racing. So it's the same price for the five or the six. So I, I feel like I would get the six. <laughs> Higher is better. I don't know. This thing's probably going to be insane after I get done with it. So we have new exhaust. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if I need that on the side. On the back would be fine. Gear ratio. I feel like the acceleration was a bit much, so let's do the top speed. We got body kits. Why not? At this point, I just have so much money. <laughs> In game, anyway. Uh, okay, so we can like choose the color. That's kind of cool. Let's go with the nice bright green. So everybody knows I'm coming. <laughs> and everybody knows that each decal that you put on your car adds at least five horsepower. So we'll put as many decals as we can. Tint the windows. Jeez. <laughs> I've never seen off-road tires on that kind of car. That's kind of funny. And the last one, we got accessories. Let's... Oh, that's the interior color. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, let's do a convertible. Why not? I want to be as cool as possible. Voodoo. Oh, Mr. Clay. That's kind of cool. So we've upgraded our car. I keep hitting that. I keep forgetting this is a start button on this one. Uh, let's go pick up our money from Vito. Jeez. This car is insane now. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, I missed my exit. <laughs> We're about to go on the highway. Let's see how fast we can get this puppy up. <laughs> now that we did some tunes on it. So the road, I guess, it looks a little smoother. Like I said, just slightly smoother. Like it's, I feel like this is probably the worst of the pro patches I've seen, but that's not knocking the game overall. I just think there's been some better patches. Uh, than this one. Maybe that just means they did such a good job originally with the game. <laughs> it doesn't take too terribly long to get uh, anywhere in this game. I found, you know, it, maybe a couple minutes. I've been on like the far corner of the map and had a had a mission where I've had to go, you know, to the. You know, basically far corners, and it, and it really doesn't take too terribly long. Even in a slow car in the beginning, it, it really doesn't take too terribly long. If you drive like an idiot. <laughs> so there are some bad guys here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and kill them. <laughs> Just because nobody touched my car. So we have a pistol, and we you basically have a small arm and a large, uh, a large arm. <laughs> kind of your small weapon and your rifle is, you, is what you get to pick from. 
Um, I don't know what these guys are doing on my turf, but... I don't appreciate it. <laughs> and they'll drop a little money like you saw there, um, and I can switch my pistol there. Now, the game, I will say, for those that have not uh, heard anything about it, uh, they do use a lot of racial kind of language, and it, it does take place in the 60s. And there's basically a developer's note that says, uh, you know, we, we felt that it would have been doing a disservice not to put that in there. So they they did add that in there. So just a forewarning for those. I mean, it, 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 it gets to the point where, like, okay, enough is enough, I feel like, in my opinion, but... Then again, it was probably enough is enough to these people back then. I don't know. <laughs> so. <laughs> Excuse me. Just pass it through. So the cops used to be... I don't know. They did a patch. I, I felt like the cops used to be a little more... Kind of like GTA 5 where they would actually like track you. There's another cop like right in front of me and he didn't even really care, so. I'm gonna kind of chill out here until they calm down. <laughs> uh, while that's waiting, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. I do have, uh, let me see where that was. Objectives. That was the last mission. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to give any spoilers there. Uh, this was something new. This is the racing uh, events, I guess, that we could unlock a lot more modifications for our car. I'm probably not going to do it. I'm not really big into racing games anymore. Uh, and then there's these where you can uh, deliver. Basically, it's, it's weed that you're delivering from airdrops, and you're taking it by bo uh, either by boat or by car. Uh, Burke usually has you do some type of alcohol run for him, and it's usually in a semi. It's kind of cool. And then, of course, uh, Vito here. Usually, it's some kind of stolen goods. Same thing. It's usually some type of a semi full of, like, basically stolen goods. A lot of the missions, I I've noticed, if you've ever played the Godfather game... Um, it was one of my favorite games for the PS2, and then they actually ported it for the PS3, and I played it for that one, too. But you, 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 you have the Corleone family, that just like in the actual movie, and you start taking over districts and rackets and, and making more and more money for the Corleone family, and then eventually become Don. I kind of feel like this is how, that's how this one is, and you actually get to choose who runs you know, what part of the city. So you're giving these districts away, you know, as needed. Really kind of neat concept. And then you're taking over these racket bosses and, and making a lot of money at, the, at those times, too. Because there's been some where I've cleared, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars uh, dollars which is a lot in this game. Especially for, given the time period. <laughs> Woo! So Vito, he, he's up at this Benny's restaurant here. Where my money? Vito is kind of a cool guy. He his his backstory is like he's this. Uh, he was in the mob, and then he gets betrayed by his own people. And he's like pretty high in the the mob Christ game. And he's like, what the heck is going on? So it is kind of cool to see that. If you're not careful, before you know it, we're gonna be running half of this city together. And we got a wardrobe. Well, I must have added these everywhere because, like I said, that, that was not in the original game. So they added these, like, wardrobe changes. A lot of stupid things. I hate to say it, but it's like, for a season pass, I would have rather had some more missions. <laughs> Run in. And let's go down to... You know, let's check out these races just to... See what all the hoopla is about. <laughs> Actually, that's not the race. That's uh, the race is down here. Cause that's really the only mission I I have, without starting a new game. Um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and call that.
concierge server that I was talking about earlier. They'll come up. Get someone out they'll here pick up your cash. Kind of cool. It only takes a couple seconds. So she's right there. Just go up to the car. Just like in real life. <laughs> Give your buddy some money. Got something I can hang on to for you? Keep uh, this yes. safe. Guess our business is done here. Don't run me over. <laughs> the game kind of, like I said, it plays a lot like uh, GTA V, so if you didn't really care for that type of combat, you're probably not going to care for this, this game. Uh, and the game is a lot of cinematic, so it's kind of like you're, you're watching a movie almost in some parts. Really kind of neat. It, it really dives into the character development. I, I really enjoyed the game. It's, it's actually one of my favorites of 2016. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm really hoping it, it, it sounds like... With this uh, upcoming, you know, there's, there's Rise of Zero Dawn, which I'm going to get, and then uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. But that's about the only two games I've seen though, so far uh, that I'm going to probably play for 2017 as of right now. But it sounds like Bethesda's got a few tricks up their sleeves because they've got... Todd Howard was, like, just saying how he's got, like, seven games in the queue that they're working on right now. And then they've, they've got a huge booth at E3 like they did uh, when they announced Fallout 4 and, and Skyrim Remastered and all that. And I was like, holy crap. So a lot of people are speculating possibly another Elder Scrolls, which would be really nice because I'm really looking forward to that. In Bethesda games, I've I'm, I'm, I'm been surprised. They've actually are, are one of the few companies that have been patching like all their games with the Pro Patch. So <laughs> got to give it to them on that. So this is the Bayou. There's like some gators down here, and there's some real backwoods type of folks that <laughs> um, or like get off my property kind of thing, you know. It's like good, good God. <laughs> Woo! Gosh, you turn this car just like a little bit, and it takes off on you. Don't hog at me. <laughs> This is my road. So you do uh, quite a few missions back here. Actually, this is where the thing is. I almost missed it. <laughs> I'm guessing it just kind of starts. I'm not really sure. That was kind of weird. Normally you have some kind of start indication. Let me do some donuts. <laughs> this area kind of looks about the same. Like I said, I, overall I'm not really blown away, I guess, <laughs> graphically by this by this patch. But exotic. I wonder if it's because I don't have the correct. I have to be in a sport class, maybe that's why. For that car, I bet you that's what it is. Gosh, I hate to get rid of that car when I just souped it all up. <laughs> uh, tell you what, let's do... Let's do one of these missions real quick. And you're going to find a lot of them are in the bayou. Let's go ahead and do this one. This is the closest. <laughs> I'll show you that aspect of it real quick. The combat, like I said, I'd, I'd show you these missions, but you're really... I have another video on that. It's, it's actually taking over the rackets. Uh, so if you're interested in kind of learning about what the game is actually about, I have another video on that one. This is more... Trying to do more of just what the pro patch graphically kind of looks like. I remember in GTA 5, you'd be going so fast down the road, like 120, and then you hit like a pole or something, and you would like die and like go through the windshield. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Good thing the brakes are good. <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the water actually real quick while we're down here. I don't want to mess this car up. That might be swamp down here too, though. No, it's still like mud. Gosh, that is... I gotta say, that's kind of awful how it's like populating as I'm coming over here. <laughs> and you see some lighting glitches. They've got, they got some work to do on this one. Water kind of looks really bland. There's some gators right here. Gotcha. <laughs> there's like a there's like a ran down car over there. <laughs> Just abandoned old look like it burnt up or something. So normally when you go in here, there's going to be some kind of people, you know, somebody's going to be guarding this area when you go in here, because uh, we're going to be stealing, let's see if I can get yeah, a triangle to get over the fence. <laughs> um, but I don't see anybody, like I said, oh, there, are, okay, I see him now. Let him know I'm coming. Come on out. <laughs> oh, this is for the... Uh... I'm done playing with this asshole. Well, I'm done playing with yours. <laughs> Watch me die. <laughs> I'm just sitting here playing around. I need to use my pistol. I should have filled up on my ammo before I even started any of this. There we go. Uh, I was gonna do... Where's the other one at? So two, there's like right in this area, but I'm not seeing... This is odd because there should be like a semi right here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of issues I've been noticing with this patch that I did not notice when I originally played this game. Because there should be, like I said, a, a semi or some kind of car that you take. Uh, let's go to the other side. Well, I guess we'll just do the boat. <laughs> now, with this one, you are picking up the... Basically, airdrops, I guess, is what I would call them. As they come down. Let's see. Right, here it is. And then you basically will take your shipment to where it needs to go. <laughs> that's a really quick delivery. Unless that's another... That might be another pickup. Hold on. I was like, that's an awful quick delivery. Did it again. I keep hitting <laughs> square because I'm so used. Whenever you enter or exit a uh, vehicle, it's like square. All right, so now let's check on the map real quick. You got to be real careful that you don't go on land because it will you you will avoid the mission. Okay, so let's go over here. I always little like I think they're called like airboats or I, I always call them swamp boats. <laughs> Is that? Yep, okay. 
Yeah, unfortunately, they don't really have the GPS uh, like they do for the cars, even though it is the 60s. <laughs> they probably should have had it anyway, but they don't have it for the boats, which would have been nice. I think I go left. No, I'll just keep going. I go to a street. And yeah, we're going all the way. Yep, yeah, through there. Don't want to go the wrong way. <laughs> You can kind of see the background uh, as I'm going through here. The trees, you know, I, I've definitely, I've just seen, I just feel like I've seen better patches, that's all. I just hate to keep knocking on it, but not my favorite one I've seen. But at least they tried. It was free. <laughs> Now, usually you get a little split from these deliveries as well, so it's not a complete waste uh, by doing that. Um, when I go into here, the, the mission will not be done. We actually have to deliver it to Cassandra, uh, literally to basically her front door. <laughs> uh, you'll see what I mean in just a second. So now we're going to go in the car, and we're going to go ahead and deliver that to... Cassandra, it looks like some nice people maybe helped me out. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe I loaded it myself. I don't know. That's kind of the mystery of that loading scene, I guess. <laughs> Get out of my way. So kind of like uh, some of the neighborhoods. You do go to the uh, church. I think that was the church you go to. Somebody you served in uh, in the wartime with. It was kind of cool to see that aspect of it. It's really kind of cool. Like I said, they go through this this game kind of like a um, little bit like a documentary, and you go through these people's lives and kind of see the, you know the different aspects. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Can't stop in time. I love how people like you're getting ready to hit them and they just stop, and if they would just kept going <laughs> in this game, I mean. <coughs> Yeah, I gotta say, I think the, the thing that turned out the best was kind of the road. They just kind of smoothed it out. <laughs> Some of the texture details, but it almost kind of looks too good. But, and then these spots keep coming up and going away, as you can see. There's a lot of graphical errors. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest with you. Assuming you're seeing the same things I'm seeing. But it is a nice big uh, open world. I, I did, like I said, enjoy this. It was kind of nice to. I always, I, I, I really am a big fan of those type of games. I think that's why I'm kind of a big fan of like Fallout and, and Skyrim and those type of games. There's very few games that actually give you true open world. Uh, a lot of people claim it, and then you kind of have these real linear type of missions that you have to do. Um, but this is one of the ones, you know, they, they have a little bit in the beginning. Uh, where you do that, and then after about, I'd say about an hour into it, it starts becoming true open world, and you kind of do whatever you kind of want to do. So the rackets uh, are at max earn. That's, that's basically what you want to do is you want to get those up as high as you can. And then when, when, like when we picked up our kickback, uh, that actually helps earn as much as you possibly can from, from these guys. Let me see. Yeah. So basically, let me explain that real quick because I didn't do that. As you take over these districts, it doesn't matter who you actually give it to. Uh, they're going to have certain types of big money makers in that district. So this one is uh, guns and garbage, apparently. <laughs> and we apparently needed one more uh, in that one to get to the max earn of 60000 And then your kickback ends up being, let me see what it all I don't think it'll say right now uh, in that particular screen. Uh, but as you do that, let's go ahead and... Uh, most of these are at max earn. Like I said, I, I, this is pretty much the end of the game. 
and I just I I hit continue. I, I haven't picked the game up in a while, and I hit continue, and I guess I can choose my my ending again. So yeah, I think I've done. That's weird because I have another delivery that I could do for Vito. But like I said, the truck wasn't even there. Normally with these, what you see is a uh, semi-truck. Uh, boost the truck full of stolen goods. And it wasn't even there. Uh, they do move around. As you can see, the, uh, the moonshine was actually over here earlier. And basically it kind of feels like, to me, it's like it's almost in real time. So basically what you're, what you're doing is, you know, these people are delivering the alcohol. And then there's new shipments that come in and... Kind of cool. Uh, gunsmith. Oh, cool. So I got reduced. Reduced recoil on all my guns for doing that mission. Uh, I don't know where my car actually went. Sometimes they end up back at the base. Sometimes they don't. Uh, if not, since I own this place, <laughs> I'll just jack one of these cars. What a piece of crap this is. <laughs> uh, we'll drive. Let's. Uh, I'll just drive to one more area. We'll kind of check that out. Um, actually, I tell you what. Let's go inside this building. And that'll probably do it. I, th I think we've got a pretty good sense of the graphics at this point. Different areas. Uh, a little bit about the game as well. Uh, I don't know. Kind of make your own decisions on this. <laughs> Based on what you've seen. So these are like the medicine cabinets. I think I am full. Nope, I I could hold one more. <laughs> I had four, now I have five. Oops. Go upstairs, Lincoln. <laughs> so normally, actually I need to go back around. So normally there will be, you, you fight your way through this, and this might, it's very similar to the one that I have another video on where I'm taking over a racket, but you go through here, and then there's basically the racket boss, and you'll have two choices. You can either kill them or have them work for your racket. If you have them work for your racket, usually the racket does a lot better since they already know how to run it. They already are familiar with it. Hello, Mr. Clay. Hey, don't worry. You get used to this smell. I think I'm starting to like it. Starting to like trash, huh? <laughs> We'll kind of look out the window here. Some of the trash piles. <laughs> Look pretty good, I guess, for trash. Uh, I think that'll do it for this particular video. Um, kind of give you a good overview of some of the graphic updates. Uh, my personal, I guess, opinion and thoughts. Uh, really not that big of a difference. And there's still some really some graphical issues that need to be patched. Uh, with this game, but very fun game overall. Um, worth worth picking up, maybe renting, you know, whatever. <laughs> wait till it goes on sale, I guess. I would, I probably wouldn't pay sixty bucks, but wait for a sale. And uh, appreciate it for watching. Thanks.